former Vice President Joe Biden officially announced his candidacy for the 2020 presidential election on Thursday, following weeks of speculation that he would join the already packed field of Democratic candidates. While Biden is thought to be a favorite, one unexpected endorsement came just hours after his announcement from disgraced attorney Michael Avenatti. I am extremely happy that a Joe Biden has decided to enter the race. He offers Dems the very best chance in 2020, especially in key states. He has the fight, intelligence and fortitude to beat Trump and begin to make America, America again. He has my enthusiastic support, Avenatti tweeted. The attorney who became famous for suing President Donald Trump fell from the public's good graces and lost his connection with adult film actress Stormy Daniels after he was indicted for 36 criminal offenses last week including for his conduct dealing with a $4 million settlement which he did not distribute to his client, the Daily Mail reported. The settlement, which was obtained on the part of Jeffrey Johnson, 53 who is a mentally ill paraplegic who hired the attorney to fight a case against the Los Angeles County after he was poorly treated in county jail. Johnson was awarded the settlement in 2015, but Avenatti accepted it and hid it from Johnson, giving him as little as $1,000 a month, according to the Daily Mail. According to the publication, Johnson is in dire financial straits both in help needed for his medical condition and in his living arrangements. To make matters more difficult for the wheelchair-bound Johnson, he was receiving Social Security disability, which was cut off once the government became the way of the settlement, which he never received. Mr. Avenatti took millions of dollars meant to compensate a client for a permanently disabling injury, stole the money lied to the client about it for years, then tried to cover it up when the story began to break, leaving the client destitute, Johnson's attorney Joshua Robbins told DailyMail.com. According to the indictment Avenatti, paid Johnson as little as $1,000 per month, giving him a total of only $124,000 over four years. Robbins said, when Mr. Avenatti received $4 million in settlement funds in January 2015, he did not tell Mr. Johnson, as he was required to do under professional ethics rules familiar to every lawyer. Instead, Mr. Avenatti moved all of the money into other accounts he controlled, then used it for personal expenses, apparently including his car racing team, for more than four years, he lied to Mr. Johnson, telling him that the funds had not yet been paid and that he was working on collecting them, while pacifying Mr. Johnson by paying out small amounts every month as supposed advances on the future settlement amount. 